In this video, we will try to understand Newton's law of cooling as an application of differential equations. We will also discuss some representative problems based on Newton's law of cooling. Hello friends, you are watching YouTube channel Number Collage. This channel features easy to understand concept videos on mathematics. In this video, we will discuss Newton's law of cooling. According to this law, rate of cooling of a hot body is directly proportional to difference between the body temperature and temperature of the surroundings. If the body temperature is theta and temperature of the surroundings is theta zero, then the rate of cooling d theta by dt is directly proportional to the difference between body temperature and temperature of the surroundings that will be d theta by dt equals minus constant of proportionality k into theta minus theta zero. Here there is a negative sign because body temperature decreases as time t increases. Therefore d theta by dt is negative. In the first problem, it is given that body temperature drops from 100 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius in one minute and temperature of the surroundings theta zero is 20 degrees Celsius. We have to find out temperature theta of the body at the end of second minute. We have rate of cooling d theta by dt equals minus k times theta minus theta zero which will be minus k times theta minus 20. We will separate the variables and write d theta upon this theta minus 20 equals minus k times dt. Integrating we get log theta minus 20 equals minus kt plus constant of integration c. It is given that initially when time is zero, theta is 100 degrees Celsius. So we get log of 100 minus 20, 80 equals minus k into zero, that is zero plus c. Now this equation one, after putting the value of c, which is log 80 becomes log of theta minus 20 equals minus kt plus log 80. Next, it is given that when t equals 1 theta equals 60 degrees Celsius. So therefore this equation 2 becomes log of 60 minus 20 that is 40 equals minus k into 1 that is minus k plus log 80. This gives us k equals log 80 minus log 40 that is log 2. Now this equation 2 becomes log theta minus 20 equals minus log 2 into t plus log 80. Now we have to find this theta when this t is 2 minutes. So we write log theta minus 20 equals minus 2 log 2 plus log 80. This will be log 80 upon this 2 square that is 4. This will be log 20. So this gives us this theta minus 20 equals this 20 or theta equals 40 degrees Celsius. So at the end of second minute, the temperature of the body will be 40 degrees Celsius. In the second problem, a thermometer from the room at 20 degrees Celsius is brought to the surroundings where the temperature is 0 degrees Celsius. The reading of the thermometer drops to 10 degrees Celsius in one minute. We have to find how long will it take to drop the temperature further to 5 degree Celsius. Here temperature of surrounding theta is 21 degree Celsius and that of the surroundings theta zero is zero degrees Celsius. By Newton's law of cooling, we have d theta by dt equals minus k times theta minus theta zero, which will be minus k times theta minus zero, which will be 
theta. For separating the variables, we write d theta by theta equals minus k dt. Next, we will integrate. We get log theta equals minus kt plus c. Now, when in the beginning, when t is 0, theta is 21 degree Celsius. So, therefore, this equation 1 will be log 21 equals c. Now, this equation 1, after putting the value of c, log 21 becomes log theta equals minus kt plus log 21. After 1 minute, that is when t is 1, the temperature in thermometer theta drops to 10 degree Celsius. So, therefore, it will be log 10 equals minus k into 1 minus k plus log 21 that gives us k equals log 21 upon 10 that is log of 2.1 using this value of k in equation 2 we write log theta equals minus log of 2.1 multiplied by t plus log 21 now we have to find how long will it take to drop the temperature in this thermometer to 5 degree Celsius. So, we write log of 5 plus log of 2.1 into T equals log 21. So, that gives us log of 2.1 multiplied by T equals log of 21 minus log of 5 that will be log of 21 upon 5 that will be 4 point. Now, we write t equals log of 4.2 upon log of 2.1 which will be 1.9342 minutes. Therefore, temperature of thermometer will drop to 5 degree Celsius after 1.9342 minutes. In the third problem, it is given that a metal ball is heated to 100 degree Celsius and then it is placed in water which is at 40 degree Celsius. Then after 4 minutes, temperature of ball drops to 60 degree Celsius. We have to find the time after which temperature of the ball will become 50 degree Celsius. We are given temperature of the ball theta equals 100 degree Celsius and temperature of water will be temperature of the surroundings theta 0 which is equal to 40 degree Celsius. Now according to Newton's law of cooling we have d theta by dt equals minus k times theta minus theta 0 which will be minus k times theta minus 40. Separating the variables we write d theta upon theta minus 40 equals minus k dt after which we will integrate and write log theta minus 40 equals minus kt plus c. Initially when t is 0 temperature of the ball was 100 degree Celsius. So therefore this equation 1 becomes log of 100 minus 40 that is log 60 equals minus k into 0 that is 0 plus c. Now we will use this value of c in equation 1 and write log of theta minus 40 equals minus kt plus log 60. After 4 minutes that is when t equals 4 the temperature theta drops to 60 degree Celsius. Therefore this equation 2 becomes log of 60 minus 40 that is 20 equals minus 4k plus log 60. 4k will be log 60 minus log 20 that is log 60 upon 20 that is log of 3. So k will be 1 fourth log 3 log of theta minus 40 plus 1 fourth log 3 multiplied by t equals log 60. So, it will be t upon 4 log 3 equals log 60 minus log theta minus 40 that will be log of 60 upon theta minus 40. Now, we have to find this t when theta is 50 degrees. So, 
it will be t upon 4 log of 3 equals log 60 upon 10 that will be log 6 so that that gives us t equals 4 multiplied by log 6 upon log th so that gives us t equals 6.5 minutes so we conclude that temperature of the ball will drop to 50 degrees celsius after 6.5 minutes if you like this video please share this to your classmates don't forget to subscribe this channel see you in the next video until then keep watching number college thank you